Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahvashai Bahashem Urcha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who well in peace and salutations all since your Achim that out there, of course, risking their lives and their freedom to bring out this Amoth, this truth. And of course, uh, to all you sincere Aquathium, the sisters out there that are taking heed and that's listening, putting themselves in order. Of course, under a man. All right, to you, I say Shalom. Brother Moth for Great Millstone, Plain Tables Camp, located here in Great Babylon, which is America, which will soon be destroyed. All right, as prophesied in the scriptures. It's going to be destroyed via. ICBM fire, which is through the intercontinental ballistic missiles, which the Lord will use to bring destruction to this place. All right. Especially America or its wickedness. Okay, This is off of uh, RT News. And also I'm going to use uh, another article off of uh, Sky News, which is, which is having containing Slakia. The update. So it says uh, Visa suffers service disruption across Europe. It says Visa, our credit card company Visa, has experienced a service disruption across Europe in the East, right? Which is prevented or preventing transactions being processed. Companies that facilitate card payments have reported that merchants are struggling to take card payments. Visa Europe said in a statement online that is investigating the problem. Uh, it says here, uh, payment sense, which facilitate car payments, say it is in touch with Visa and has apologized to customers for any inconvenience. There is currently a disruption of service and taking payments from Visa it is affecting all payment providers across the UK and Ireland. The company said in a statement, there's current, yeah, yeah, that, oh, that's what he just says, Slocky. It says the payment problem has led to countless issues for customers at tills and restaurants across Europe. It sparked a rash activity on social media with many complaining about the inconvenience caused by disruption. However, many others saw the funny side of the situation responding to chaos by sharing gifts and memes. Which uh, gifts are moving images, memes are images which uh, contain usually a text which um, is uh, comical or uh, <clears throat> humorous. It goes on, it says, uh, he, which suggests that humanity is returned to the days of physical cash or even system of bartering, which you have. Uh, the bargaining system where you, of course, trade items, okay, one another, all right. You trade uh, items, goods, all right, for services, okay, for different things that you want, all right. It says uh, in physical cash, you know, because you know, we previously used to um, – Use well, still to this day, people use physical cash. Yeah, these are uh, different banknotes that are issued by uh, the Federal Reserve here in America, uh, which is a private company. Okay, you have these different uh, co countries which uh, have, of course, also the different um, banknotes, which primarily aren't banked by, by, by any goal. But this place is being moved very soon to a cashless society. All right. It's very swiftly moving towards the norm in which you have uh, really the, um, the future, which is going to be very soon, is the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast that was prophesied in the Bible in the book of Revelations. This is the RFID microchip, which is the size of a grain of rice, right? About roughly, okay? In which that will be the new form of payment, which uh, 
the elite and the New World Order, which is they yeah, have their New World Order, which they plan to chip the entire planet. All right, which uh, they are fighting for their birthright back, which Esau Edom, which is a so-called white man, uh, of course, sold his birthright. So he doesn't have the blessing. But he's going to fight and try to keep his kingdom, which is being quickly taken away from him. Okay, because the earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. The wicked are the biblical Edomites. All right. Esau Edom, and their, the Lord is taking away their power, okay? That's all prophecy. But without further ado, I'm just going to hit some uh, scriptures, and also I'm going to hit the other uh, article as well. It says Ezekiel 3 and 17, and it, and it reads, uh, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. All right. This was, of course, told by Yahweh the Lord unto Ezekiel. Okay. And he gave warning, which, you know, the Lord, he speaks by, of course, his servants, the prophets, which is prophets are back here today and we are telling you and the warning you is like so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans which are the Lord's chosen people because the Lord is not going to save everyone he's only going to save a remnant on this side which uh that's the elect all right the chosen the chosen the 144,000 prophets and also the rest of the one-third which are men men and children which believe the word of Yahweh al Shai. All right, in which that's why we're giving out this warning so that you know. So you don't go foolishly and take this RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, and get destroyed. All right. It says, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. And thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So you have to understand that the Lord, he of course hath given, given us that authority. And giving us the word. He revealed the secret so that we can warn the nation of Israel. You know. Which. Two thirds of the nation of Israel was not listening anyway. They're going to be rebellious. All right. Hard hearted. Revolt. You know, which is to make war against the Lord. Which the Lord is a man of war. And they're going to get destroyed. The two thirds. But the elect, they of course are going to wake up and listen. Okay, and return to their power. Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay, and the blood, of course, is not on our hand because we have given you the warning. So there won't be any excuse in that day when Yahweh Hashem Shai brings forth his judgment. Okay, let's go into the the, the uh, RFID microchip. So that you can know it. You know, this is always good to bring out. You know, uh, this is uh, Revelations 13 and 16. And it reads, and He calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads. All right, which um, all is, the, the, you know, um, all of the, those that are, of course, upon the face of this earth. Okay, and that he is Esau, Edom, all right, the elite, okay. You go into it all, small and great, okay, rich and poor, free and bond, all right. And when you go into that, they receive that mark, the mark uh, right there is Har Haragma, 
All right, which uh, that's uh, going to be an incision. You know, it's a brand of uh, servitude. Okay. You see it right here. Karagun stamp and printed mark. All right. It's a carved thing. All right. This is, of course, going beneath the skin, which um, the, 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 the so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. You know, in the law, of course, when you go to, uh, what's that, Leviticus uh, 19, and um, what's that, Leviticus 19 and 28, you know, we now, of course, to receive uh, any of these, uh, let me see, I'm going to try to get it real quick, any cuttings on, of the flesh, all right, which that's what it, what that, that mark, mark of the beast, it goes inside beneath your flesh, all right, beneath the skin, it says, ye shall not make any cuttings of the flesh, for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am Yahweh. All right, so you can't take the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, which is going to be the new way to operate in society. Okay? Simple as that. Look at this right here, which you can see, you have the, you see uh, on this uh, screen right here, you got the uh, the, the uh, chip already in these uh, these credit cards, all right, bank cards and such already. They of course want that RFID microchip in your inside of you yourself. Okay. It says here, this is another update. Visa rules out hacking as service recovers. It says uh, service disruption at Many Visa customers across Europe are unable to use their cards. Some retailers were having to turn away if they were unable to pay cash. After six hours, Visa reports that service is close to normal. It comes as commuters head from work and to shops to buy dinner. It says the Visa problems today have caused many to remark of dangers of increasingly cashless society. You know, because first of all, you have people... Um, that rely on using primarily our like a, uh, paying for goods via, um, you say, uh, cashless payment, okay, via their uh, uh, debit cards, credit cards, and such. Already in Sweden, they already have uh, RFID microchips. Uh, they got uh, that being used. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of people, these biohackers and such, they already started to, you know, get on the craze. You know, so they already using it. You know, in Wisconsin, they had, of course, uh, the, that 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 company, uh, four square, uh, three square market, uh, uh, back in what 2017, around the summer, and you know, uh, had about uh, what something like fifty some odd employees. Volunteered to take the chip, which is the RFID microchip. Okay, they took it inside of them, which that's the RFID microchip. Okay, having a credit card is not yeah, taking the chip. All right, it's so when you, of course, take that beneath your skin. All right. It says she told Sky News while online contact and chip chip and pen payments have been failing, card holders are still able. To withdraw money from cash points. That's good for people who have easy access to cash, but in places where there are only a few cash points available, where the increased demand has left machines empty, people could find themselves unable to pay for their shopping for petrol, meaning gas, uh, and meals. All right, which I have made videos on how uh, in the UK. We have had uh, the removal of many ATM machines because they're pushing towards this cashless society. Okay, most people don't use um, cash anymore, physical cash. They're using uh, these, you know, ATM. I mean, while well, using socket, they're using their uh, bank cards. Okay, just paying for things on the go. You know, swipe the card, put it in the pen, and that's it. Simple as that.
contact, you know, contactless payments. All right, Google Pay, all of that have their bank cards already, you know, on their and on their phones, basically, you know. So that's what uh, they want to do. Okay, so I got another scripture. It's uh going to be in uh, let's see. We go to um, I believe back in Ezekiel, and then I'm gonna close out. Uh, Ezekiel. Let's lock it. Let me just get it out of here. This this lesson is due to Spirit of Power. Y'all by Shemuel Shai. No, we ain't really playing on it. All right, so this is uh. Ezekiel the seventh chapter and uh I'm gonna start at let me see, Slacky. I need to go on my physical Bible real quick. Let's just see if I can get it. I had it, but I don't currently see it at the time. That's right, so a 19 verse. Okay. Yeah, so this is uh, Ezekiel 7 and 19. And it reads They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of wrath of Yahweh. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. And I mean, when it comes down to the times when, you know, uh, really this uh, destruction comes, you know, it ain't going to matter if you got money. All right. The Lord is going to bring back his, bring down his judgment. Simple as that. And if you take the RFID microchip, you're going to be destroyed. Simple as that. All right. That's your judgment. If you is like, you get destroyed. Okay. Simple as that. Do all the different plagues that Yahweh Bashib Al Shai has. Okay. Pestilence, famine. You got different temptus, different wild beasts. And of course, ultimately, the nuclear missiles. All right. You got Esau, Edom, the sword. I mean, it's foolish to, of course, take the RFID microchip. I mean, you can read that, of course, in Revelation, the 14th chapter. Um, when you, I believe, what's that? The e first, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you read that. Revelation is uh, uh, 8. And you read on from uh, Revelations 14 and 8, and on to, to uh, I believe, 10. All right. And uh, no way down, just going to close out, leave it at that. Not make it long and short out and drawn out, slack you. Um, you know, they had this, uh, this um, visa, you know, car payment failure system disruption. Which is being recovered now, but you know, soon this is all gonna crash. This economy is gonna crash, and they're gonna implement this RFID microchip, and that's gonna be the new payment system. And you're not to take it. You're supposed to know and rely on y'all by shimmy out shot. All right, with that, I'm gonna say shallow up.